Hello everyone, this is Many Ninjas. Welcome to the next installment of uh, Risky's Revenge Director's Cut. Second of the three Shantae games that are currently publicly available. As per usual, the name of the game is... While I am playing this game, I am basically actively avoiding anything that will let me get a good heads up on what comes up next. So I'm really playing this blind. The one thing I will say is that I, while I am somewhat aware in detail of some of the later plot points that are introduced in some of the later games, just because WayForward has advertised it as part of their Kickstarter stuff for later titles, I don't know the actual events and anything else on the going on to this game, so I'm only vaguely aware of some of the later happenings. This is probably as good a time as any in order to kind of get through the course of things, just because, as it turns out, they actually announced a little earlier in this week that, uh, a little earlier than I would have expected, we're actually going to be getting a Steam version of the next title of the game, uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Which, I am all for personally, that means I can play some more stuff and hopefully do a bit of a blind run for that later on. I am so glad I have the hair up upgrade at this point. It really is helping so much faster. Alright. Kind of, uh, you've already completely lose my track thought trying to dodge these slow-moving projectiles. Uh, from where I left off last time, I did actually get around to finding two transformation upgrades at this point. I got hit by something off screen. Anyway, I got two transformation upgrades at this point, so uh, for the elephant, I have the elephant stomp at this point, as well as the uh, monkey bullet, I believe is the name of it, which is basically a dash that can be done one wall climbing. So at this point, I had actually been into this general area off camera beforehand. I believe this is the entrance to the next uh, dungeon that I need to get into, I believe the Hypno Baron. But I was stymied on my off camera recording at this point, or just after this particular passageway, I think, because I came to a point that I couldn't actually get over. And now that I have the icon to go, or the end to go with it, I'm pretty sure the reason I couldn't get it over is because the game actually required you to get the monkey bullet at this point in order to actually succeed. Yeah, I was not able to get past like gap. Before. And hitting the small little imps is still a pain in the butt. Overkill? Yes, but I hate those things. Something I haven't mentioned since I don't believe I was recording this section before is uh, one thing to keep an eye out for the mermaids in this case. As you probably noticed the kind of a bubble projectile that was shown earlier. Unlike other projectiles in this game, you can't actually dodge that one. The hitbox on the thing was actually so low to the ground that even if you're crouching, you're still going to get hit. A little too close, I think. Hope I'm making some progress because this particular area has lasted a little longer than I would expect it. Oh, 
Oh, well, at least I got a little bit of money for my trouble. trip back a lot shorter. Alright, this should have the next major story plot. Here we go. Officially completed our coffee entry. Seriously, just got in a the, one second. I need to just stop and look at this for a second. In a game all about magical genies, transformations, and belly dancing, we were just handed a wad of plastic explosives. I just want to let that sink in for a moment. told go back and for the electric for the uh, the way to ignite it is basically hit it with an electric spark I think I have something that can do the build for that it's gonna be a little bit of a walk back to the door but hey you do what you're gonna do able to get a little more health on the way back. Even a little bit longer. This platforming section still isn't nearly as bad as, like, uh, a lot of the climbing sections you see in the caves. Especially depending on the control scheme you happen to have, it can get kind of tedious and a little more difficult than it should be with the sensitivity of a few things. for getting the health back. And I'm not doing myself any favors running into enemies. to hit it just in time. I'm just gonna skip these enemies, I can just safely get by them.
now the game basically spells out what you need to do. there. was unintentional. Alright, this is a trick to it. It's gotta be looking in a certain direction. room I was in. I have a key to get through a door now. So at the end of the climb I can probably get through one area at least. But I want to explore just what the other directions led me to. Alright, it's pretty clear now the Hypno Baron. The shtick here is basically... Probably something in the transformation, transformation batch of things that will let me get through this area. I kind of don't want to die here, so I'm just doing that as a requisite backup. Like I said before, this is not so much difficult. In terms of the actual handling itself or the idea. It's just sometimes the controls don't always want to work. In fact, one second. Let me just remind myself what the controls for the keyboard are. Yeah, I'm actually switching back to keyboard for this. That was a close one, even with the keyboard. Oh, 
All right, now that we navigated that section, uh, let's go back in. That's not permanent. It's gotta be a trick to keep him down for good. I'm not supposed to be able to get in that way. Now it adds up. I think I didn't get that the first time around, actually. This seems like a good place to save. Okay, they can hunt you down from where you are, but don't kill them fast enough. Good to know. Going faster.
this is a uh, monkey room. Transformation room in general, actually. Missing something very important here. I can't get this through this water without it. Okay, at least we're getting something. Seems like something just weird to throw out of nowhere. Got a key. Alright, let's see if I can't navigate my way back. Something a little bit more usable. I need to change the room arrangement again.
gonna be this room has changed a bit. That's logic conclusion. God. I wish I had that save point sooner. Job. <coughs> All right, this dungeon's run a little longer than expected, so I'm gonna do a quick pause here, and uh, while we continue the footage and the rest of the dungeon uh, next time. <laughs> 